with gold surpassing $3,100 per ounce and expected to ride higher, Dyna Resource is a junior producer that stands out as an accessible entry point for investors who may be looking for exposure to precious metals. The recent breakthrough in gold recovery technology, pushing uh, recovery rates from 70 to 95 percent, means that they could extract significantly more gold from the same rock. Now, as you can see, we've got a guest here at the CEO.ca studio, President and CEO of Dyna Resource, Rowan Hazelton. Let's dig deeper, Rowan. Thank you for being here. Great. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> okay. So before we talk about your gold recovery improvements, which is big news for the company, let's talk about the San Jose de Garcia district. You've consolidated 33 individual mining concessions into the project so far. What's promising here about uh, gold production? Great. Thanks very much, Rachel. Uh, yeah, we have a concession area of 33 concessions that totals just approximately 10,000 hectares. This is a you know, very large area. Even at the moment, we're only uh, primarily you know, exploring and, uh, and mining within a, a smaller area of that of 4,500 hectares. Uh, and, and there's still even potential to grow you know, outside of that uh, if we look to, to any you know, future acquisitions of, of concessions. Uh, you know, today, you know, even within the area that we see, we see you know, a, a multi-million ounce you know, potential for, for exploration growth. Uh, we see definitive targets that we have outlined uh, to lead at least to sort of a half a million to a million ounce potential that we see. And then beyond that will depend on you know, our, our exploration success. Uh, but overall, the district uh, is you know, is extremely prolific, both in its you know past history of a million ounces of a, a half an ounce to a, or one ounce to two ounce per ton in the past, uh, and then you know in the more recent history of what Dyna Resource has been mining for the last ten years. Now, jumping to uh, the recovery update, so the press release announces metallurgical test results that show potentially ninety for uh, ninety five percent gold recovery rates. For our viewers who may not be so familiar with mining terminology, can you walk us through some basics? You know, what, uh, how does gold actually go from rock to saleable product? Great, thanks. So in the case of San Jose de Gracia, uh, we, the, we produce a gold concentrate at the end. Uh, so we start with the underground mining, approximately 800 tons per day. Uh, we bring that into, we crush it and put it through a flotation uh, mill, uh, and which uh, again, primarily, uh, you know, crushes down to, to a smaller size, uses certain reagents to then float the, the gold uh, and, and get it out of the, you know, the minerals that it's hosted in. Uh, and then ultimately the, the final product is, is a concentrated you know, rock material that, that looks like sand uh, and is a flotation concentrate. Uh, here what we're talking about in these results is that we'll be adding a gravity circuit to produce a second concentrate, uh, still a similar product, uh, but through a different process of the of the gravity circuit. Ultimately, then the the concentrate uh, we ship uh, we ship down to the port uh, and sell it to our offtake partner. I think it's important to talk about you know these potentially ninety five percent recovery rates compared to your operational target of eighty percent. Um, can you explain the difference here for our viewers? You know what really is going on in real world uh, to have that difference between the eighty to ninety five potential. Uh, percentage. Sure. sure. So we're we're very pleased with these recent lab results that, that show a 95 percent recovery. Uh, what's important about those results is they were taken from a composite of, of different rock, uh, you know, material and minerals uh, from our various deposits, which you know uh, have different metallurgical components. So it's important to to see how they you know they all are are you know are blended or reacts in in different situations, uh, and the you know and. And so we're, you know, our, you know, with these 95% results in a lab, uh, you know, environment where it's easier to control and so on, uh, and easier to ensure that you get the, the crushed rock down to a, a minimum size, um, that's, you know, is what then, you know, with the gravity, you know, test and the gravity circuit, you know, has led to those results, you know, in 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 the real world, um, you know, you know, we won't be able to match all of those conditions, but we are, you know, extremely positive uh, and optimistic that, you know, these results with, you know, installing a new gravity circuit will lead to the 80%. That's our target. Uh, but I, you know, I believe that, you know, these lab results indicate that we, you know, we likely have opportunity to, to get higher and potentially as high as the company uh, in, in prior, in early years of the operations did have recoveries in the mid, mid to higher uh, 80s. And that was primarily because there was a gravity circuit. Now the operation was smaller at the time, and that's why uh, the, uh, the the gravity circuit was was displaced as the the mill and, 
um, and throughput grew. And we're looking to put back in, again, a gravity circuit uh, and a more sophisticated gravity circuit. Now, when we look at your um, presentation that's on the Dyna Resource website, we can also see that since 2017, there's been investments of $33 million into improving operations uh, for the company. With gold prices at where they're at today, and with those improvements you know, in place, and I guess expected to continue improving operations at the site, how are you maximizing uh, value for your investors? Sure, great. Um, yeah, those, the, all those initial investments you know, were to, to open up the, the various deposits and, and mines that, that we have uh, and you know, construct the initial plant, and then in particular, you know, growing the plant to what it was. So this initially was a 100 ton per day operation mm -hmm. that over the past almost 10 years, you know, we've grown to an 800 ton per day operation uh, you know, and continue to, you know, to, uh, to look at ways that we may even further increase that, that throughput uh, in, in future years to, to, uh, you know, to be able to increase you know, gold production. So we have a very strong base of, of assets uh, in terms of ounces in the ground, uh, you know, mines that are available for, for production, uh, as well as you know, fixed assets in terms of uh, uh, plant uh, and, and other equipment. Now, Dyna Resource also plans to release an SK1300 uh, technical report. So this is like an equivalent to the Canadian 43101. Um, what findings do you expect this report to highlight? Um, this, this report comes out, I think, Q2 of this year? Yeah, so we expect that report to come out in, in the next month and, and, or a bit. We, we've actually delayed it just slightly in order to incorporate these new uh, metallurgical results, which we think are, you know, are very important to uh, you know, the future uh, projections of what, what, uh, you know, what we can produce. The SK-1300, um, you know, we're listed on the OTC QX at the moment in the U.S., and, and hence why we, we have to put out an SK-1300. We will, uh, you know, shortly thereafter, uh, update it very slightly to uh, really more formatting changes to a 43101 uh, on Canadian, um, uh, for Canadian purposes. We, you know, the importance of this tech report is it really is what will allow us to uplist to a major exchange later this year. We're still targeting Q3 uh, to, <clears throat> excuse me, to uplist uh, and, uh, you know, possibly onto the, the, the TSX or TSXV. And, um, uh, and that will allow, you know, both our, you know, our shareholders, uh, you know, access to, to greater liquidity and importantly, you know, allow the company to access, you know, you know greater sources of, of capital, uh, get a better recognition in, in, in the capital markets uh, and, you know, and look at, you know, potentially, you know, raising funds for, for additional investment and growth, in particular in exploration. Well, look, I'm very excited to share this updated conversation with you to our audience. So thank you for being here. Great. Thank you very much, Rachel. Um, so as you heard, guys, uh, Rowan Hazelton, president and CEO of Dino Resource, you can find the company under the ticker DYNR under the OTCQX. Thanks for watching. <music>